MathXL for School via EasyBridge Program Overview. Log into EasyBridge. Your first step is to add the MathXL for School product to your class. You can do this by clicking Add Products and selecting MathXL for School. Once MathXL for School is linked with your class, click that link to choose your text. You can filter by course or you can scroll through. Be careful to choose the correct text and edition. Choose your text and click Save. On your EasyBridge page, you can click the roster link to see your students and their usernames. You can also access MathXL training resources and your district course gallery by clicking the link on the right hand side of the page. You can search the course gallery as well as tip sheets, videos, training resources, system requirements, implementation models, and Pearson support. Let's return to the EasyBridge homepage and click on the course. This opens the Math Excel environment. Your school name will be at the top. In this particular case, we're using a demo course. On the left hand side, you see a student and instructor menu. Students will only see the student menu. If you want to explore the student view at any time, click the links on the student menu. If you click settings, you can modify the availability, coverage, and learning aids and test options. If you click home page manager, you can create announcements and modify your home page settings. You can modify home page settings by choosing to show or hide specific components of the home page. Next we click Homework and Test Manager. This lets you create or manage assignments and custom questions. You can create or edit homework, tests, quizzes, and offline items that represent work your students do offline. Students' results from these assignments will appear in the gradebook. You can create an assignment, use the toolbar option, filter a list of assignments, view and manage assignments, and use sample homework tests and quizzes. On your study plan manager, you control the settings for your students' study plans. You can specify how mastery is determined and choose what questions are offered. You can click the edit link to the right of the name to go to the page to modify mastery settings, which are typically 80%, access, coverage and scoring, or the recommendations page. Finally, you can explore the gradebook for the instructor view. You can view the results for your whole class and for individual students. You can use the toolbar to access gradebook functions, access different views of student results, view gradebook data in the class roster, or run quick and advanced exports and use the reporting dashboard. At any time in the course, you can click the small question mark in the top right hand corner for more information on that page and associated resources. Let's explore the student view. When you click Course Home, you see the calendar, progress, upcoming assignments, and more. You can also click Just the Calendar to see assignments due. If you click Homework and Tests, when you assign materials, this is where students will access them. If you open a homework assignment, you can view the learning aids available, the math palette, and so forth. The homework and test page will list the homework quizzes and tests an instructor assigns for the course. In some courses, you will also see a small orange push pin icon with a link next to a section or objective you're recommended to work on in the study plan. The results page shows the student's progress over the last few weeks, month, or entire course. The student can click show calculation to show how the grade is computed. The study plan page shows how students have recommendations on sections or objectives they need to work on next. They can practice or take a quiz to show they have mastered the recommended material. They can learn more about objectives to practice and master, study plan prerequisites for a test or quiz, their progress, and overall course mastery of material. There are additional videos that go more in depth on each of these topics. Thank you.